everyone, today we will talk about the mode of ungrouped data. So when we say mode, this is the most frequent value. So in a distribution, when we say most frequent value, it is the element or measure which repeated the most. In Filipino, pinaka maraming na ulit. The two main advantages of the mode are that it requires no calculation, just counting, and it can be determined for the qualitative as well as quantitative data. So for example, for qualitative, most of the students are wearing white t-shirts. For example, quantitative data, most of the grade 10 students are 16 years old. So it talks about numbers. And qualitative, it talks about describing the element. Mode is denoted by MO or the symbol. So it is read as X hat. When the highest frequency corresponds to two elements or measures, it is said to be bimodal. When the distribution has three modes, it is said to be trimodal. When the distribution has more than three modes, it is said to be multimodal. Or it is also possible that mode may not exist at all. So it is said to be non-modal. Non-modal in Filipino is walang naulit na numero. So let us have example number one. The Philippine basketball team scored 81, 73, 81, 86, and 89 points in their last five games. Find the mode. The mode is the measure that occurs the most number of times or the most frequent value. In Tagalog, ito yung naulit ng ilang beses. So in this case, the most repeated value denoted as MO or X hot that is equal to 81 since 81 is repeated twice or ito yung naulit ng dalawang beses. Since we only have one value of mode which is 81, it is said to be unimodal. Let us have example number 2. The size of 16 families in a barangay chosen at random are as follows. 8, 7, 4, 6, 12, 6, 7, 6, 8, 10, 7, 8, 5, 3, 4, and 3. Find the mode. Again, mode is the most frequent value or the measure that occurs the most number of times. In Tagalog, naulit ng maraming beses. So in this case, the mode denoted as x hat are 6, 7, and 8. Since 6 and 7, 6, 7, and 8 are repeated thrice. Or sa Tagalog, naulit ng tatlong beses. Since mode has three elements, or we have three number of modes in Tagalog or in Filipino, may nakuha kang tatlong modes sa data then it is classified as trimodal. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learn, please subscribe to my channel.